What is going on YouTube? Grigo Skido here. How are you tonight? We hope everybody is great and we will not wait for the standard Kidonians to join us. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have to do a short live half an hour earlier than standard time. Well, even more than half an hour. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 5.18. Yeah. 17, 18. Usually we go 18, 0, 0, which is 6 o'clock p.m. Hello, yeah. Paula, and thank you for joining us, uh -huh. even though yeah, we nice. are earlier. Claudia uh, is here. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Maybe this is great for you because tonight we will do this live a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of things to do. I have to tell you guys some great news. Apollonas has just been in the World International College and he made a deal with them to give uh, a lecture where he will not be talking very nicely yes. about vegan diet for young people. So they agreed, they gave, they approved it. They said our students have to learn about all the negative aspects and health uh, problems that mm -hmm. vegans could uh, encounter if they start the vegan diet very early, and especially if they do a uh, vegan approach without any supplements. So Apollonas is going to give a lecture sometimes, I think, next week. Most probably next week or the week after that. Yeah, we're gonna see within the, the project it's not started. A, yeah. So we are extremely busy. We have so many things to do, do tonight. Mm -hmm. Apollonas has. I hope we're so gonna have the opportunity parties. actually to be live that day so you can see it uh, when it's happening. Uh, I'm not sure if live, but definitely we're gonna record yeah, it. Yeah, we're gonna record it, it or post it on YouTube. Yeah, we're gonna see what's gonna work the best uh, and uh, gonna, it's gonna be a smooth. Hello, Alex. Alex is Hi, with Alex. us finally. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Paula, thank you so much for joining us. I was uh, actually a little bit afraid that you will not make it because we pu pushed it very early for mm -hmm. you guys. But yeah, this in the college is going to be great. And yeah. we will not be rude. The Polonas will not talk in a way to, to, you know, to tell them, why did you go vegan? But we'll get, tell them all the things. Uh, all the dangers of going mm -hmm. vegan. Uh, Always I try to have a scientific approach. And, uh, you know, this is uh, what actually gives the idea to another one that maybe, mm, yeah, I need to research something too and really read about it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong or uh, generally to hear about it. I, I think that uh, everybody needs to hear something new, not all the time the same, the same, the same. We're talking about even a ketogenic diet. I don't want to talk uh, exclusively only about ketogenic diet. I want to generally have a healthier approach. We're not talking about soy milk, for example. We know soy is a 98, at least percent GMO. Imagine that you are drinking daily liters of this thing. Uh, it's we really unhealthy. That the only non-dairy option to drink for students of from around the globe. Now, let me tell you what's the World International College, uh, United World College. Mm -hmm. It's a college which actually brings students from each country on this earth. Uh, there's two students from each country that exist in the United Nations countries, let's say, and they're studying their uh, third and fourth year of mm -hmm. uh, college here in Mostar. In English, the, they're actually all the curriculum is in English. So it's an international school full of different cultures, different races, different languages, different backgrounds. It's amazing atmosphere. But unfortunately, for some reason, veg veganism and vegetarian approach became popular among uh, young students those students are, uh, I would say, high school uh, uh -huh. level students that would be uh, 15, 16, 17, and 18 years old. So uh, before they're going to actually go to what you guys call in the USA college, and that would be university for us here. Yeah, so it's a, it's, after it works like a foundation, actually, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, something it's for the best different. students uh, mm -hmm. who actually have great grades in their high school, so then they can join this. They can mm. be, they can apply, and if uh, uh, they have really good grades and if their English is really good, then they can mm -hmm. come to Mostar. And uh, well, what's interesting? Marcella, hello, hello, Deborah. Oh, uh, about Deborah. 
I'm really sorry I didn't have time to answer you. Thank you so much for sending us this beautiful email. We thought about your cat today when you told us a story yeah. how your cat wants something. Well, Debra, uh, we are really glad you enjoyed your gift. Debra was the first person who uh, tweeted, I watched you on YouTube, on Twitter. So we noticed that. And I was so happy to see that it was Debra, actually. So it's one of our patrons, one of our member of our community, our group, our small group of uh, great Ketonians who we hope will uh, meet one day live and really grow this into a real family. Because I feel, guys, you are like our family and all your support, all mm -hmm. your uh, messages, all your questions. When you make our recipes, when you actually uh, spread the word about Grigos, Keto, Keto Mediterranean, it means so much to us. So we will be sending more gifts uh, we will be definitely sending more gifts. There uh -huh. will be a giveaway. But before I continue to give away... Marcella and... says, love your necklace, Roberta. You do, really. Look at it. It's, it's your sister in crime, so... You and I have the same one. Look at it. I don't know, guys, if you can see how it nicely... It's... Yeah? Greek goes, Kida, yeah. It's, uh, it, you, if you decide to order this necklace, you can write here whatever you want. Your name, somebody else's name, a quote, uh, an idea that came up mm -hmm. your, uh, yeah, it's nice. your mind. Cool. It's a beautiful, this is uh, sterling silver. It's coated in 24 uh, carat uh, rose gold. It can be also yellow gold or white rhodium. So depending which metal color mm -hmm. you prefer. Yeah, this nice. is rose gold. I think it goes nice with my skin. So I actually chose rose gold, but you can choose whatever you decide and then you can make it unique. Mm -hmm. I will read Paula's comment. Uh, let them know not to eat a bunch of processed soy meat alternatives. This will be another subject. So in general will be. Apollonas uh, was uh, given opportunity to change the menu for them totally to offer a menu that would be much healthier. It will not be a keto menu, but it would be a very low carb menu, and it will not contain any soy products. That's gonna be a huge step into the better direction. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they are, they have soy drinks as the only option uh, mm -hmm. other than milk. And when it comes to milk, the cow's milk that they get uh, in the morning for breakfast, that would be UHT. That's like over, over processed milk. So we're gonna give a. Uh, we saw also that they don't have any fish on the menu yeah, here, of where they could get really affordable uh, the, the trout or other river fishes, which are here uh, in our rivers and lakes, yeah, always available for cheaper I don't know what's price. Going on with these so we will work. Uh, we will work on fixing the menu mm -hmm. of United World College. You can search online to see who they are. So you will know that Greek Ghost Keto will be taking care of children's diet here. Well, student, for us, they're children, 14, 15. Yeah, that's okay. still children. Yeah. But okay, young people's young diet. People, yeah. In Mostar, even if they are vegan or vegetarian, we're gonna try to make it healthier for them as much mm -hmm. as as we can. But you know, if you continue with veganism for years and years, you're going to face problems, health issues, deficiencies, exactly. and even worse things, which we will not mention. Claudia now. says in Život na Vagi, they are pushing yes. veganism because they said that there is no need uh, at all to eat meat. Yeah. Oh, uh, now they start. I know what they're pushing. They're pushing money behind, so they keep promoting these things. It's so easy, it's so transparent, actually. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know, know how they're, they're so going to maintain the muscle mass, especially the coaches. Because uh, no, culture. actually, that's the trick. Uh, you're gonna just keep in the beginning uh, pushing only uh, plant-based food, which is uh, really doesn't have any nutrient density. The body, of course, is gonna start losing weight and uh, muscle tissue. Uh, you will not notice this because you don't know in the beginning that you're losing muscle tissue, but just you're keeping an eye in the freaking scale that you are losing weight. And all the time, I'm saying if you cannot make a DEXA scan, a body comp, a professional equipment to see what's going on with your body tissue, with a muscle tissue and that, you don't know anything. Scale is just saying a number. So Scale and age is just a number. I think this should be one of our t -shirt. next T-shirts. <laughs> yeah. Hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie. Scale is just a number. Hoodie, hoodie. So, Paula says, yes, you are... You are like family, like family to me family as to well. Me, definitely. I do feel Marcella. I feel Marcella like my sister. She even looks a little bit like me, doesn't yeah. she? Mediterranean person. But she's so. <laughs> Greek. 
So, Marcela, I love the photos you sent us. You actually ordered this uh, necklace the same day as me, but you got it much earlier because you guys in the USA, you have much better factory, I must tell you. They're faster. They're, uh, you're also, mm. your delivery system is so much better. I okay, think the company is uh, American-based, so just they have a factory in uh, so Europe. So, if, mm -hmm. if you decide to order anything from Google Gosquito or if you win, in one of our contests or uh, giveaways, then if you are from USA, the chances are you're going to get things yeah, sooner than we in Europe. But it arrives, it arrives in every corner of this planet. It, it went to New Zealand, it went to Australia. I would like to say hello to Pamela. I don't know if she's watching, but we have been waiting for news from her for a long time. She's been some vaca for some mm -hmm. vacations yeah, and that's true. finally she got her gift. Everybody will get a gift from Grigos Kito this uh, winter season around Christmas. Yeah, we're going to make the giveaway again. We're going to make a lot of things. I want you guys to participate but so you can take they wanted a mug. A mug. They mug didn't it want a necklace. So, okay, everybody had a chance to vote. Uh, democracy is important on Grigos Kito. We want Kitonians to mm -hmm. vote and make a decision what's going to be the next giveaway. So, guys, you wanted a mug. So, next giveaway will be Grigos Kito mug. mug. In a couple of days, uh -huh. we're going to announce it. Alex is so pretty. Oh, thank you, Alex. She thinks about it. Alex is just great. My Anna is here. Hello to all. Hello, says. Anna. How Hieronymus are you? is here. He says hello to. Hello, Hieronymus. Nice of you uh, to join us. Mm -hmm, actually. This good. is a new name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes to mind Hieronymus Bosch, my favorite Dutch painter. Uh huh. Alex says uh, it's a climate change a movement that is uh, big right now. That's really pushing the vegan movement big time yes, right now. You're right, Alex. Totally yeah. you're right. Unfortunately, the only thing we can do in today's world to stay healthy is not give up meat and give up cereals, give up grains and give up sugar, especially refined sugar, and of course the trans fats and the vegetable oil and all the other unhealthy. Uh, Ingredients in uh -huh. a modern human diet. And it's uh, really important to understand that we're cutting more forests just to plant uh, all of these things uh, generally for food uh, than the damage are doing the animals. Mm. Uh, Marcella says, me too, other fula. <laughs> other fula. <laughs> nice. How oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, let's beautiful. see now. Uh, Claudia says, Apollonas, in your last live, you were talking about measuring blood sugar after fasted training. You said that it should drop. How much? Uh, I had fasted training uh, this, this morning. morning. Okay. Yeah, after the training uh, should be low, should not be, uh, I mean, uh, to be elevated. If you're going to say that is elevated, uh, now depends uh, what uh, was your day. Uh, if you what had kind of training was it? Not was only it this. strength or yeah, was it cardio? Yeah, it needs to be intense training, no matter if it's uh, uh, cardio or uh, weightlifting. Uh, but uh, you know that blood uh, glucose has influence if you slept well and all these uh, actually factors. So it needs not to be uh, more... I think that 5.5, you know, this is European measurement, around 5.5. Yeah, so for, for uh, more than, say European. Yeah, European measurements. Uh, so uh, because we are shifting uh, in this world the uh, uh, milligrams per uh, deciliter and, of course, I'm a mole per liter. Oh, Deborah woke up. It looks like we did a good thing that we went mm -hmm. uh, live earlier. Uh, Deborah woke up really early this morning. This is not even... Uh, I think yeah. It's like oh, I don't know, it's five and a half here, yeah. If What's it's going fun? on, Deborah? <laughs> Keto's going Keto, on. Keto, Deborah, yeah. you must be really deep in ketosis if you are waking up earlier and earlier. We are talking about Deb. Mm -hmm. Deb. Deb. <laughs> Deb, okay, yeah, she didn't Deb. change the name here, so. Okay, uh, we, yeah, she doesn't we have fold. to. We're going to uh -huh. call her Deb. But the thing is, we have Deborah, and we, then we have also Deborah. Yeah. From USA. Claudia so. says I had kettlebell training. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, depends on the intensity. If you're going to do a uh, high intensity cardiovascular training, actually, you're going to see there is going to be the real result. But uh, 5.3 is quite okay. Uh, generally, you should see these numbers staying uh, in the range or uh, between uh, 3.9 and 4.8. This is where you want these numbers to approximately to be. Okay. Uh, but really, I could be your mom. Says I'm 57. No, you couldn't. No, well, except if you. No. No, she couldn't be your mother. 
No, you you couldn't be. I don't think that anybody gives birth at 12. Maybe yeah. in some weird civilization. So you are just 12 years old. Uh, old, yeah. 12 years old. Difference. Yeah, you have 12 years difference. You are 45, she's 57. I'm nothing. 45, Marcella, so you can't be my mother. Yeah, exactly. Claudia says some people have a phenomena uh, for a while that exercise raises the glucose. A bit, okay. yeah. This is uh, when you are not uh, yet, uh, you didn't have good fat adaptation. Uh, as the period uh, of time is passing, you're gonna have uh, this. Uh, uh, actually, I, I wanted to make uh, maybe I'm gonna make uh, uh, here uh, uh, in our YouTube channel a video about cortisol and all these things that uh, all these factors that take a part when uh, we're exercising. We're talking while we are fasting, you increase uh, your uh, growth hormone, there is increase of testosterone in male and female. Parallel, so there are several factors. So of course, uh, glucagon production, we're talking, there is not insulin yet because we didn't introduce food. We want to break our fast with something that will spike after that insulin because it's, uh, insulin is anabolic. It builds also, but we don't want to over uh, produce uh, insulin uh, because we're eating sugary foods. We want to only protein and fat. Okay, so Anna is sad because, okay, I've noticed that on Cyprus and I was very sad to see that a lot of Cy Cyprus uh, forests disappeared. She says that they cut the forest to build mm -hmm. the uh, hotels. hotels yeah. That's sad, yeah. Forest is actually uh, one of the best things that we could still, uh, it's much better to protect a forest than to protect the way they're trying to protect animals. Because by protecting forests, you're going to help environment much more than by stopping eating meat. We need to stop cutting forests and making fields and produce vegetarian food on those fields and then leaving so many animals without shelter and without food. And also we are all, uh, playing with the balances. You know, the less forest we have, the more problems we have. You guys are are an island there in pretty much dry island i mm. saw that nowhere in uh, cyprus i didn't notice that you have pine trees behind the beach mainly the beach is uh, the like coast, a desert yeah. yeah the coast they like a desert they don't have a vegetation but what forest you have in in the inland of uh, Cyprus, it was beautiful, and I cannot believe that you are now staying, staying even without doubt those. Mm -hmm. But what can we do? This world is all upside down. Priorities are upside down. The only thing we can do is get together, talk to each other, even through social media, and spread the word about what will save the planet. I saw a T-shirt of Dr. Baker a few days ago. Mm -hmm. He said, let's really make, uh, save the planet by predominantly eating ancestral food and have it uh, available to humans in organic form. And I think, well, okay, this is what he wrote under it, but the T-shirt said just like save the planet. And by uh, saving the planet, we uh, actually have to understand that the planet without us would not be a place of intelligence. Unfortunately, we don't know mm -hmm. that animals have intelligence. We don't know that uh, plants have it. maybe they do but it, at the moment we can't communicate with them so if we want to preserve humanity on earth then we should first take care of our health because our health has been jeopardized for years the past century was the worst whatever happened throughout millennia throughout the years uh, centuries uh, didn't jeopardize humanity and hu health of humans as much as the industrial era of past 100 years. So we have to really, we have to work together, spread as much word as we can and show that life can be still enjoyed on this way of eating. It still can be really joyful. You can prepare so many feasts. You can enjoy uh, food. You can still be a foodie. You can make things which you I thought are totally possible on keto, but then I tried and then I sometimes I failed, but I didn't give up. I went again and everything was ketonized and still will be ketonized. So we have to talk more about it. Debra, Deb says Deb, yeah. it has been wet here for the, well, that's springtime, you know, spring is always wet. Last few wet. days, but I want to go out to the beach uh, to, take a few, to take a video for you. Yes, it's five and a half a.m. here. Yeah, 12 hours difference. Five and a half, yeah. nice, interesting time to wake up, especially in the winter here, it wouldn't be possible. But mm -hmm. in the summer, sometimes we used to wake up at 5.30. Yeah. 
Okay. Marcela uh, is laughing. Yeah, Marcela is laughing. Thank Paola you. Paula is your laughing. Compliment. Marcela says uh, you look like a teenager. Thank you. Well, uh, I'm at work, says watch more later, Alex. Okay, Alex, have a great day at work. Marcella says beautiful and young. Oh, thank you. Uh, Claudia says yes, a video about the uh, this would be great because uh, as time goes by, we learn so many things and still there is uh, always something more to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, there are so many uh, chemical pathways that uh, still uh, scientists uh, didn't find out. And I think it's going to be really So this good. forest was a forest by the sea. So must be the Akamas or... Not the... Akamas, Robert. This is... Not Akamas. Yeah. Yeah, she wants to say that this forest was by the sea. Yeah, yeah, Sakamas yeah. wasn't inland. So interesting. Uh, near which town is it, Anna? Near to is it near to Larnaca or is it near to Limassol? I don't know. Personally, which I didn't hear anything about it. I don't know. I didn't read the news. This is sad to to yeah. read and to hear. But what can you do? I hope they at least left a bit of the forest, not all of this. Paphos. Paphos, Paphos. Ah, it's in the Paphos. Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be toward towards Greece, mm, yeah. the west of uh, Cyprus. Yeah, sad to hear. What to do? We are sad. I, I don't know. Do you have some uh, association in Cyprus where you can uh, protest for these things? Was this a private land or belonging to the state? We can't do many things when something. Um, but what is really private, irritating when, when it comes to these things is that you know they're gonna try to build something there. You know the fact that they're gonna build something and nobody do, does anything about it. Okay, we just burned the, the forest, they're gonna cry 10, 20 people after that, we're gonna build and that's it, it's over. You know, uh, this is how it's going with the governments, unfortunately. The planet is changing, the world is changing, the governments are not changing, unfortunately. Uh, as new the political ones, system is corrupted uh, for centuries now, for centuries. It has always been like, always even been, in the yes, Roman time. No, it's Roman. Uh, we but, Greeks uh, invent corruption. <laughs> and it's really important to understand that, uh, uh, let's uh, say even the form of democracy was totally different back then than now. So uh, this is something really in deep, we need to go into deep waters. But anyway, we have some 20 more minutes. Let's yeah. move to the subjects. We call this tea time. It is tea time. It was tea time in Gr uh, Great Britain. It's going to be right now, six o'clock, five o'clock in Britain. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the time to have tea. Do you have tea, guys? Did you know how many great things you can do with tea? You can make jellies. You can make, as I'm doing with rose hip tea, you can make uh, tea bags as your spices for soups, stews, or sauces. You can have tea throughout the day. Tea is the only drink you can have 100% sure other than water uh, during the fasting time. So what kind of teas you prefer? It's great to mix them, actually. Blends are amazing. They're working and I, miraculously. Mainly in this I'm doing with my clients. Usually I'm giving them a, a blend of uh, different uh, kind of teas, herbal, herbal teas. teas, yeah, and I think uh, yeah, it's great help because uh, it can regulate actually a lot of things. It can help us a lot. Those uh, compounds and uh, uh -huh. medicinal herbs have been helping people uh, throughout. You should start complaining that, hey, I cannot find this, I cannot find that, or what to do. You know, it's a little bit difficult, but uh, I think the results are amazing uh, after two or three weeks. Yes, yeah, Sundern Plus, which is a sea buckthorn, yeah. and tea is the main drink for Claudia. Yeah, but also during the summer, Claudia, you need to try peppermint with lemon iced tea. It's amazing. You're going to love it. It was mm -hmm. one, one of my favorite teas throughout the summer in, in Skinyat. That's interesting. And, and me, I, I'm trying to, to, to source mint and all these things. Uh, Did you know, guys, that that in the summer, you can also make a cold divine. brew tea? Tea, uh, if you want more uh, benefits from green tea, the antioxidants mm -hmm. of green tea, then you're going to prepare a cold brew green tea by soaking a little bit more of green tea in the cold water overnight, leave it in the refrigerator tomorrow, strain it, and you will have yourself cold brewed green tea. That's when you're going to have more antioxidants. The same goes for any other plant. You can start, maybe if you want a better infusion, you can start 40 to 50 degrees Celsius water, not boiling water. Leave the tea uh, plants or bags of tea, if you have quality bags, and leave it 
overnight in the refrigerator tomorrow enjoy the most tasty iced tea which you can add a little bit of lemon juice you can add a little bit of stevia uh -huh. cinnamon uh, a drop of vanilla extract you can play with it you can make cocktails with it especially if you combine it with rose hip hibiscus then you have some red color you can make also sea buckthorn tea there are so many teas Claudia loves peppermint and lemon. It's a great combination, hot or cold. It's also great for uh, uh, gum drops. And you can see this combination in our recipe for gum, mm -hmm. uh, peppermint. Gum drops, you can find recipe on Google. Did we make a video for that recipe? No, I don't I kind think of so. I think we did. Uh, okay, I don't know. We, we made so we many don't videos know. that uh, we will <laughs> have to check on YouTube. And I personally, uh, literally, I'm lost because I'm yeah. making so many Greek videos too. And uh, Yemista uh, behind me. Yeah. Have a look at Yemista. Who knows what's Yemista? That's a Greek word. Anna knows for sure. Palace is peppermint and lemon is my favorite as well. That's interesting. Yeah. They have the same favorite combination. Anna says Apollo Nasty. Yeah. Apollo Nasty, which yeah. is. Yeah, probably this I'm writing uh, in Ah, the he line. made. Ah, this, I think uh, this but, for but, Anna uh, you made specifically for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always uh, I'm doing. Uh, yeah. Uh, Every client things. gets a di yeah. slightly different. Oh, uh, yeah, because I have Except to... if they have exactly the same problems. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult because everybody needs... Uh, when working with the clients, uh, you can see that everybody reacts different. Somebody doesn't need uh, a, a tall uh, changes in the program or with somebody... For example, with Anna, now we are a carnivore. This is transformed into a carnivore, and this is really good and works, I think, the best for her. But uh, you can see that you need to make micro changes to everybody, and uh, that's the reason I think uh, it's great sometimes to have somebody who knows how to lead you these things uh, so that he can find where are the weak spots of the body. Body has uh, no, so will do actually the best to, to stop losing weight. Mm -hmm. We'll do the best. Uh, so you need uh, somehow to find the weak spot and uh, hammer it there so mm -hmm. you're gonna keep uh, losing weight. Uh, and as I told you guys, we don't want just to lose weight, just we want to burn fat. So wait, Marcella says you helped me to go to teas and to not coffee. I used to drink a lot of coffee. If you are very much addicted to the taste of coffee, I'm mm. drinking here Earl Grey with a little bit of lemon, but you can have Earl Grey with a little bit of goat milk and have yourself something very similar to uh, the experience of coffee, but uh, with less caffeine, with almost no coffee. Uh. And uh, with that feeling, with that aroma that actually well infused, Earl Grey or English breakfast tea would be great to cut the addiction. Uh, yeah, they have too I many think, uh, drinks. They have some great variety, like uh, Earl Grey, Heart of London, and all these uh, that are at least uh, really strong, especially in the morning. They have this great. I'd like aroma. to show some herbs here. I don't know, guys, if you can see. Can you see? I think mm -hmm. yes. Have a look here. And let me see if anybody knows what is this, what berries are these, and what is this plant. I'd like to talk a little bit about this plant. It's extremely medicinal. It was the favorite medicinal plant of Hippocrates. Hippocrates had each and every tea blend infused with Marcellus those elderberry. berries. They are not elderberry. Have a look again. Have a look at the leaves. I would say needles. What grows on a needle uh, tree, <laughs> like a like a pine tree, <laughs> like a pine tree but smaller? Pine Let's see. Is Marcella. Marcella, it's kind of a. It's in the penis family, but it's not a pine. <laughs> Who knows? Let's see. Do you want Anna to says, see it again? To see. I'm waiting. Says the okay from Apollonas to make them. Okay, yeah. so I want to talk a, a little bit about those berries. The favorite berries. Juniper. Bravo, Debra. That's juniper. Exactly. Have a look. This is another berry I want to talk about. This is another berry that's totally friendly to Ketonians. Germistan. Uh, I'm not sure. Is this uh, how, another name? It's uh, juniper uh, in English. So yeah. Oops. Disappeared the comment. Disappeared the comment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Juniper is the answer. It was the favorite berry of Hippocrates. Hippocrates thought that it has energy to heal almost everything. So whatever you are trying to heal, add some juniper berries mm -hmm. and dried berries and make a yeah, tea. You can really make a tea of both juniper needles 
and berries are full of vitamin C, are full of other minerals. Borovica. And vitamins. Uh, yes, it's, it's borovica. borovica. It's funny, it looks like it's a sweet. blueberry. It's it looks sweet. actually. But it's not sweet. It's not sweet, yeah. It's very bitter. Actually, blueberries and contain sour. a lot of fructose. Mm -hmm. uh, they have the same amount of fructose like strawberries. You will not believe. That's the reason I, it maybe it's way much better for a lot like of people. Like cherries. Like cherries. Actually, more than cherries. The wild cherries. It's like strawberries and cherries in between there, the fructose mm -hmm. content. But generally, you can have all these berries, so they're a great option. And uh, So, uh, we will definitely be writing more about juniper. Mm -hmm. We want you guys to source juniper, if you can. We would really... Uh, it can be even used for cooking. It can be used as a spice. It can be added to some sauces. There are many sauces which are made with juniper uh -huh. uh, berries. So it's another addition in our keto world where, where they say there are no many fruits. There are so many forest fruits. You will not believe how many great stuff mm -hmm. you can still have on keto. And they are not only that they are low in carbs, they're medicinal. Usually those berries, all of these berries that we have been covering in our live videos, in our articles, in our uh, other videos that we also publish, especially mm -hmm. on Polonance in Greek, today he posted such a great, great, video i would like to invite anna and anybody else who speaks greek to go to apollonas's channel and he spoke about so many different kinds of food he actually went through one day of his nutrition and he showed what he's gonna eat and actually what i have in my fridge it's mm -hmm. really important to see uh, when you're following ketogenic or even uh, more ketogenic let's say because carnivore diet is included uh, and what uh, absolute products you have in your fridge, really important, especially for beginners. Mm -hmm. uh, always I'm aiming in my Greek uh, uh, videos for beginners. It's really hard when you don't know when to start, what to buy, when to buy it. It's going to last. It will not last. These things don't have really short uh, uh, life. Uh, uh, how do you call it? Not life expense. Is it? Uh, Exp <laughs> It's not expectancy. Expectancy, yeah, expectancy. that's it, guys. Live expectancy. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, uh, when it comes to these foods, besides eggs that can go for 30, 40 days, maybe, but uh, they will not last uh, with me. Definitely not. Uh, the other uh, foods maybe need to be fermented. Uh, we're talking about Greek feta. We're talking about uh, maybe fermented some vegetables. Only vegetables. Exactly. You can Pickle everything. Mm -hmm. There's not a thing which can't be pickled. Even a fruit can be pickled. Even pickled eggs. Maybe we can go to uh, we have a dried meat. We saw. You uh, can pickle meat also. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to cover it. And I talked week. also about sweets. Sweets is a really uh, sensitive. Uh, keto yeah. dessert and keto fruits. He's, he covered all the subjects. And I told him we should make such a video in English too. Mm. Because it's very informative. And he was so, he, you know, as he's keeping this type of food in his hand, all his nutrition knowledge is coming out. And he starts talking, talking. I think it's very good to see such a video. It's very informative. And at the same time, it's fun. And you see actually how those things look. For example, today he spoke about fermented a mixed salad which contained a little bit of carrot and now if he was a keto police like somebody used to uh, used to call us uh, why would you use carrot on uh, keto but when carrot is fermented guys carrot does not contain that much sugar at all almost none especially if you left it to be fermented and when it's chopped inside there you're gonna eat like the one like grated 20th grated. Of, of, of the carrot it doesn't exist if you're gonna take in 0 0.01 carbohydrate from the carrot let it be you know uh people don't understand this thing. fermented uh, things don't contain uh you sugar. cannot talk to me about keto police when i'm special ops you know <laughs> you cannot okay. so uh it, it's really uh understandable and uh, I worked with so many people I saw so many cases I got so many questions so we find solutions uh, uh, but you're still learning and exactly we are this learning is important every learning day. because every case every client every person that I work with it was a different case and that's the reason I'm saying and I never gonna nobody's gonna see from me a general meal plan that's gonna exist in Greek Ghost Keto you all of you just uh, download this meal plan and it's gonna work hundred percent no it, okay. it cannot happen 
It there, cannot. There is one general meal plan which is just giving you. Uh, because people they have uh, autoimmune, they have diabetes. Uh, somebody cannot eat uh, cruciferous veggies as uh, me, for example. Uh, me, I cannot consume. Uh, don't have the same consumption of water like somebody else because I have different weight and height. And it goes like on and on and on and on like this. People don't understand. This just give me a meal plan, please. Yeah, ends. exactly. Yes, it goes on and Unfortunately, it doesn't friend. work. Okay, so seven more minutes before I have to go. Will you take over uh, live or? Yeah, why not? If I have questions, it will not be. Uh, okay, if there are dead, questions. The chat. <laughs> yeah, it looks like our Kidonians are enjoying their tea or coffee. At this nice time. time, guys. Time. Give us a question before we. Close Magically, he disappeared. Yeah. Video, but. Let's remember what's going to happen on Sunday. On Sunday, everybody's going to prepare their 100% Arabica, mild roast Arabica, Ooh, freshly ground. Nice. And we're going to be preparing Greek coffee. We're going to be preparing it together live. Mm -hmm. And then you guys will be drinking and letting us know if you can stand the bitterness without any sweetener. Can you have the coffee? Can you finish the small cup of Greek coffee? And after that, those of you who will want will send me photos of your cup. So maybe I will read your fortune. We're going to have fun. Fun. Yeah, that would be yeah. fun. The chat Tea for Anna, fire. Yeah. Deborah, no. yes, Claudia. We are listening to, to you, you carefully. carefully. <laughs> okay, I'm really Thumbs glad up. you are listening to us carefully. I'm sorry that we uh, can't do the standard live tonight, but Sunday is our time. Sunday, everybody must join. I know, Claudia, you don't drink coffee. Join just for the fun. Join us uh -huh. and let's have it fun. It will be fun. Deb says, I love to see Bibi. She looked amazing. Oh, <laughs> and the kids you. looked so engaged. Oh, thank you. Bibi is a project which will grow and grow. There are some no new shows approaching next week. I will also be doing a Christmas show with Bibi. Bibi will be learning from children what is Christmas and how to eat less sugar for Christmas. How to be a good uh, child in the mm -hmm. universe, child of the, child universe. Of the universe. And uh, yes, then don't have <laughs> rotten teeth, don't have other uh -huh. problems that sugar brings. Sugar, sugar, such yeah. Which is also a bad behavior. And keto melomacarona, keto curabiedes. Keto everything, keto, yeah, keto, but keto, keto, keto is kid safe. Totally, you can make keto right. desserts for this Christmas and have your children. I think we're gonna have a nipple, guys, you. with a Christmas recipe. So you're gonna download and have all the recipes there. Something like this, we're gonna work out. Oh, we will. Uh, have the Anna says, "Can you read the leaves, Roberta?" Not the leaves, <laughs> not the leaves, but, but coffee, coffee, definitely. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've Claudia is a rock star. She says, "Baby, rocks." Oh, I am so. Yeah. Uh, on Monday, I will have news about your school, Claudia. Today, we spoke. Oh, that would be nice. We spoke with the principal, so we hope that your school will host BB, and then you will be able to. If your principal, me uh, yeah, would like Her Majesty, of course, uh, would <laughs> like to accept, <laughs> which okay, will be fun. She will. She will. Uh, I'm having a hard time find the right coffee, but have a cup more stores. Uh, okay. To brawl, though. Do you have somewhere? Uh, pull through, yeah, pull through. Pull through. Yeah. Okay, if you can find 100% Arabica from any country, the best would be from uh, 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 Colombia, but if you can't find Colombia... People yeah. are confused. Uh, there are two, actually, categories of coffee, Arabica and Robusta. The Arabica it doesn't come there from is, Arabia. People, I, I get the question, uh, uh, is it there from is Arabia? Mocha, don't forget Mocha. Okay, but is it is not a, something that comes from Arabia? People are saying, is it from Arabia, Arabica? No. no. It is originally. It is originally, but it's but just it's a name. Wrong. Yeah, we need to understand Arabica, you can find even in Brazil. You can find Nicaragua, Africa. Costa Rica, Ethiopia. You can find all over the, the world, Colombia. Colombia. Yeah, it's just a variety. That's it. And let it be why we want it to be Arabica, guys. We want to make you believe that coffee, black coffee can be enjoyed without any sweetener. We're going to show uh, you the uh, preparation method, how to prepare black Greek, way, the Greek, Greek way. coffee with cold water. You're starting with cold Drinking water. Drinking coffee, Greek coffee with Greek ghost keto. Yeah, Greek style. <laughs> Greek style. And then we will see if we can work on uh, revoking the 
uh, taste buds so that you don't need any sweetness. Yeah, that's going to be good. You must come, says Claudia. I'm so looking forward to your show. I'm looking forward, actually, to show it in your school. Because I'm looking forward, actually, sorry. Oh, thank uh, you. Uh, to carry the piano. <laughs> so, it's not so heavy. And not, those muscles can... Those muscles didn't work out for a long time of period. You need to go to the gym. Yeah. Long time of period. Yeah. Period of time. Period of time. <laughs> but damn, you confused me. <laughs> don't anyway. curse. Don't curse. You will not get a talent from talented Davids. I'm sorry. Talented Davids will yeah. not send you a talent. Yeah. This is what I'm saying to children. In fasted state. Exactly. There is an I'm carrying piano in fasted state. On it's another crazy. planet who actually sends talents to children, but only those children who don't curse and don't say bad words. Actually, no, somebody. no, no, I'm sorry, guys. It's correct time of period. It's correct, because in Greek, it's that way. So I thought in Greek. <laughs> but you're not talking Greek now. I'm not talking so Greek. it's period of time. I'm Greek. <laughs> I, I can be excused. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. Anna's laughing. Yeah. In fasted state, uh, that's cloud is a comment. Deborah says, Thanks for the help on the Arabica on my, my grocery, grocery store. store app. App. That's oh, nice, great. they have applications. So, please, awesome. Deborah, if you can, uh, if you can, please source the beans, don't take the ground variety right? because we want you to ground your co coffee, uh, grind your coffee that moment mm -hmm. before we're gonna make it. That's how you're gonna have all the aromas and antioxidants. It's really and anti important, antioxidants, mm -hmm. everything actually. So this will be a fun experience, yeah. and uh, uh, let's see, Deb, Deb and Debra. Deb, yeah, is Actually, laughing. Actually, even their names are uh, uh, written differently. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but I think you. I don't know the pronunciation if it's uh, correct or what. Seventy-eight. Two more minutes before I have to go. Yeah, Debra is, is uh, laughing apparently. I can see joy. It says uh, the emoticon is joy. You have to read what's the emoticon uh, because look at them. They look, they look alike emojis. here. I don't know in the yeah. in the iMac. They're funny. They are like gummies. Ah, uh, they're like uh, marshmallows. Gumdrops. They're marshmallows. Yeah, they look like those uh, uh, gum drops. peppermint gumdrops. Gum drops. Yeah, yeah. days ago, and also a few weeks ago, uh -huh. and also a few months ago. You have to check the recipe at Greco's Keto. So, guys, we hope you enjoyed this short live. It wasn't actually short. It it's was forty-one, 41 minutes. minutes. Okay. So that's short because we usually go one and a half hour. Yeah. Live. So if you have a question, guys, we can uh, just let's uh, stay a few more minutes. minutes. Yeah. So we are not prepared. Roll. We didn't write any questions. Mm. We did receive. Actually, you received so many questions from Greeks and from your. Yeah, I had to group. upload my uh, Greek video. It takes so much time. I had to switch channels to go to Greek Oskito for my uh, Greek channel. It, it's a. Uh, Calavradi says Marcel. I have to run now, huh? Uh, I run before I go to have a great you guys day for you mm. evening for us we hope everybody will have a great day Kisses, we hope yeah. to see of most love. of you on sunday sunday we're gonna be live six o'clock in the evening uh, central european time check it that's like right now this moment is six o'clock so whatever time on sunday will be at this moment uh, right now check it write it down like a reminder let's have coffee together let's read the coffee uh, cup, yeah. cup, and also have fun because you know we are not superstitious. We just like to have fun, and we want actually uh -huh. to work on uh, evoking your uh, taste buds and making them feel the natural flavor of coffee without sweetener. Black coffee. Black coffee. So that, Anna says there is nothing to compare with the perfume of uh, blend coffee. Yes, blend. I wouldn't actually go for a blend. I would rather go for pure Arabica, but depending what blend you mm. want, you're talking about there are different blends of Arabica, yes, but blends with Robusta are never... It's really bitter, uh, Robusta. Because, pleasing, uh, yeah. So we prefer blends oxidized. which are all with uh -huh. different types of Arabica. Deborah says, uh, I want to try making a clair today from Grigos Keto recipe. Uh, you're going to have okay, uh, to contact uh, the... Debra Eclair requires really patience, patience, patience. So before you're going to try boss. Eclair, why mm -hmm. don't you try Profiterol? First try Profiterol. It's yeah, much easier. Try Profiterol. And after you uh, make Profiterol, then uh, uh, give a try to Eclair. It, it, you have to have really high quality psyllium. You have to be patient. Your eggs have to be very fresh and room temperature, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So maybe mm. profiterol and eclair they are very similar. So yeah, maybe check out the other recipe. Eclair would be my skip eclairs today. Yeah, maybe to skip it, huh? 
What do you yeah, say? Yeah, to go to Profiterol. Yeah. Profiterol is very similar. It looks almost the same and has the same feeling. Marcella says, I see you Sunday. If I don't forget, lol, and I'm uh, not too busy at work. We will, will be sending uh, reminders. Flizani read. Oh, yeah, she wants her. Ready, ready, Flizanaki. Yeah. Okay. Pure Arabica, of course, is Anna. Pure Arabica, yeah. yeah. And blend of Arabica, why not? Can yeah, be okay. good blend. It's good, yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for this evening. Thank you for uh, being with us, sending your comments, participating. Mm -hmm. I have made standard eclairs, eclairs often, often, but, but not, not a kit of variety. Yeah. Then, okay, then if you are very... Uh, uh, it's probably skillful and i know you are then go ahead but very slowly and i don't know it's all in psyllium maybe you will need to add a little bit more psyllium depending on a different on these recipes i have so many different uh it's really tricky feedback. recipe Somebody and, makes uh, it perfect. yeah if your psyllium is not maybe good you lost the, the dough right. Maybe it will not rise. If it yeah. doesn't rise, don't cut it in half. Just use two eclairs and put between two mm. of them. So, good so, night. Good night, Have all. a great evening. Bye to everybody. Kisses from Rico's Keto. And Stay you know, ketonized, guys, to the full potential. Ketonized to the full potential. See you on Sunday. See you guys.